there's no doubt that the U.S. is experiencing a crisis in health care. We spend more on health care than any other country, but rank just 37th out of 191 in performance. For the first time in the last 200 years, U.S. life expectancy is expected to decline, not increase. You die earlier and spend more time disabled if you're in America than in most other advanced countries. According to the Centers for Disease Control, over 60 million people in the U.S. are obese. That's 34% of the population. 50 million people have high blood pressure. 13.5 million people have coronary heart disease, with 1.5 million suffering heart attacks every year. 16 million people have type 2 diabetes. 41 million are pre-diabetic. 95,000 people are diagnosed with colon cancer each year. The solution? A pill for every ill and an ill for every pill. The pharmaceutical industry is a $680 billion giant, and our lifestyle keeps them in business. Eat, drink, and be merry, then call 911 for a surgeon. Fortunately, we are experiencing a paradigm shift, a sea change in how many people view their health, from treatment of symptoms to prevention and optimal wellness, from disease care to health care. Many experts in new medicine or new biology believe that dehydration and chronic acidosis are the underlying causes of many diseases. They believe we are chronically dehydrated on top of being overly acidic due to our modern diet and lifestyle. These two factors combined set the stage for the development of most, if not all, illness. Most people don't believe that dehydration is a problem because they drink fluids, coffee, tea, soda, etc. But chronic dehydration has no obvious symptoms. It's not like the man dying of thirst in the desert. And you can be chronically dehydrated even if you think you are consuming enough fluid. Adequate hydration is critical to how our body functions and heals itself. And water, pure water, is the natural way to stay hydrated. What we need to understand is what is water and what is not water. We as a civilization or as a modern civilization or modern culture have begin to think of water as tea, as soda, as milk, as energy drinks, as coffee. Um, it has water or liquid substance to it, but it is not water. Um, even what comes out of our tap and what is in the bottled water, um, while structurally maybe the water molecule, if we once we understand how water exists in its natural state before modern times, we'll realize that even that is not necessarily the water that our body evolved to exist on. How can one determine? if they're drinking enough water is the question. Um, first thing is, if you're thirsty, you're way behind. Okay, that, that, that's a clear point. Our thirst mechanism doesn't kick in until we're already slightly dehydrated. So if we wait till we get thirsty, then we are already beginning to become dehydrated and might experience symptoms like not thinking quite as clearly or beginning to feel fatigued or muscles may cramp up. Um, you may even start to feel hungry. And a lot of times hunger is really a, a sign of thirst. We are born 95% hydrated. As we grow up, we lose a little more water every year. When we reach middle age, we're about 70% water. In our 60s, maybe 60 to 65%. A steady decline until death when we are just 50% water. There are several signs of chronic dehydration that arise when the body enters survival mode and begins to preserve water for the most vital functions. There are five distinct conditions related to chronic dehydration where the body begins to ration water. Asthma, allergies, hypertension, constipation, and type 2 diabetes. Symptoms include exhaustion, lack of energy, headaches, skin problems, obesity, and joint pain. 
Finally, and perhaps most importantly, the acid-alkaline balance of the body is disrupted, leading to chronic low-grade acidosis and a host of modern diseases related to that condition. Don't wait until you're thirsty. Have a glass of ionized water. It's microclustered, alkaline, and contains active hydrogen and bicarbonate buffers. Critical is first thing in the morning, wake up and have a big glass of water. Um, make sure you drink a big glass of water through the day and see how you feel. It, it, it's sometimes incredible and the effects can be very dramatic because people have never really had clean natural water.